Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a fun project for you. Today we're talking about the Easy Hourglass. Well, not just the Easy Hourglass, but the super duper Easy Hourglass. So let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? All these little hourglasses just nested together, and I've got a super easy way to make them. To make this quilt, what you're going to need is four packs of five inch squares. And we are using Northwoods by Kate Spain for Moda. Darling little line of fabric. Um, you're also going to need a half a yard for your inner border. That's this border right here. Your outer border is going to be a five inch border and you're going to need a yard and a quarter for that. No background fabric, just your little packs of five inch squares. So let me show you how to do this because this is so much fun. So what you're going to do is you're going to make four patches. I know it sounds a little crazy, but you're going to come through your pack. And whenever I um, open a pack of charms, I'm going to, I separate them kind of by color so that I have ones to pick from that are, that are different. I just do different stacks. So I'll separate them like this. Let's see, I got some teals here. You know, you just put them out in different colors. And that helps me to be able to kind of balance my quilt a little bit. And so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make four patches. So we're gonna choose four of these. So I'm gonna choose one, and I'm gonna do one of these, and I'm gonna take something over here from the blue pile, and maybe, oh, let's see. How about this little tiny hearts over here like this? That'll be a cute little four patch. So we're just gonna sew these together, uh, two like that, Sew these two side seams and then sew our long seam to make a four patch. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. All right. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your quarter inches are consistent. So I am sewing down the side. I have my machine set on a quarter of an inch so that it will if I, when I line it up with the foot, it just naturally sews a quarter of an inch. That helps me because, you know, I'll get halfway through this and I won't be paying attention to what I'm doing and all of a sudden I'm like, uh-oh. So we don't wanna have to rip, so we're just gonna put them together. So now I have my two pieces sewn together like this and I'm just going to put them together like this and match up that middle seam. So, we're gonna come along here. I'm gonna sew a little bit, and then I'm going to take a hold of the bottom of my pieces, and I'm gonna match up that seam. So I'm gonna make sure that one seam is going one direction and the other seam the other. And I kinda of keep my finger on that until it slides under the foot, just like that. And then I've got a four patch. Now, we're gonna iron it down nice and flat. And I like to iron from the top to make sure no pleats are in there. Then I'm gonna flip it over and make sure my seams are laying nice and flat. Now to make this block, you're going to make two of these. So I have another one made right here, and then we're gonna put them right on top of each other, just like this. And we are gonna sew all the way around the outside edge, just like we do our half square triangles. So let me, I'm gonna look at these under here to make sure that there's enough contrast on all my squares. And then we're gonna go sew this all the way around the outside edge, a quarter of an inch. This is so fun. Now people ask all the time, do you slow down at the corner and pivot or do you sew off? I generally sew off. And then I just bring my piece around like that and sew down the other side. Make sure your seams are lined up. They're nested very well. We want those seams to line up on the side, you know, where the two charm packs come together. We want those to line up. One more side, and we are done. All 
All right, now that you've got your two four patches sewn together all the way around the outside, what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut them diagonally both directions. Now this is where this uh, 15 inch ruler that I have comes in handy because it'll span the whole distance. So we're going to match it up. We're gonna come right here to the corner and here to the corner. And then this one should go right through where your seams cross in the center. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. This is gonna be a little tough because you've got several layers there. So just make sure you have some good pressure and a good hold on your ruler. You don't want that to slip right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, now comes for the magic. Are you ready? Super duper easy hourglass. Look at that. All right, let's press these open. This is really fun. I love how this comes together. This was a one of those happy surprise moments when I did. I was like, well, let's see what happens if I sew a couple of four patches together and sew around them just like I do my half square triangles. Let's just see what happens. We have one more here. Let me go through the cutting with you one more time because, we're, uh, because this matters. We're gonna line it up on the seam, at the middle, on the side. Make a cut right across. You might need to um, get some extra pressure in that middle part right there. Again, this way, diagonally, both directions. And again, we've got these awesome hourglasses. How cool is this? I mean, just like instant. So I'm gonna press these and then I'm gonna show you how I set them together. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about color placement because one of the fun things with doing blocks like this is that um, you truly, well, unless you have a computer program, you truly don't know what's gonna happen and it's really like a little present for you. So now I have a stack of these that are all made. Out of your, if you use four packs, you're gonna get 84 of these. Now, 84 of these, uh, you know, nothing adds up quite right. So you can do, you can do it eight by 10. I chose to do it nine by nine. So mine is more square. So it really, when you, you know, when you plop it on the ground, it really looks like a picnic blanket. I mean, it's just a really fun size, but again, that's kind of up to you. So when I put these together, I just decide on the number I need in my row. And I didn't, I did nine in each row. And so then you want to start putting your rows together and mixing them up so you don't have too much red in one area or too, too much, you know, the same fabrics. You don't want the same fabrics to meet up. So you just wanna start putting them together and you're just gonna sew them together just like this. So when you get ready to put them together, you're gonna to lay them right sides on top of each other like this and they should match up pretty exactly. Mine are pretty close. If yours are a little off, you have the benefit of the bias so you can make those fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew these two together so you can see how that lines up. Your, um, your corner where your little seam is, you can have those going opposite directions or you can just leave them the same direction. Either way is fine. And we're gonna sew them together just like this and we're gonna make a whole row of them and then just sew our rows together. This is really one of the easiest quilts ever. So, let me press this so you can see. So right here, when you get these pressed together, you're gonna have your quarter of an inch on, the, on either side, and which means you're not gonna lose your points either. So your hourglasses are gonna look really nice and really cute. So once you're ready to put your rows together, you're just gonna put them together like this. Now I have, I have nine across and nine, nine rows. So I used 81 squares in this and just put them across. You're gonna add your little two and a half inch border, a little five inch border. It's gonna make a quilt that's square. It's gonna be about 65 square. Let's take a look at this back fabric. Isn't that pretty? This looks really Scandinavian to me with the birds. It's just really fun. So for the backing, you're gonna need about four and a half yards and it just makes a really fun, quick quilt. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the super duper easy hourglass from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.